Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Silent Hill. When we last left off, we were stuck in the sewers. We just managed to grab a key. Now, let's go and use said key to make some progress, shall we? Seems like a reasonable plan. So coming up, we've actually got some optional side stuff to do. Uh, and that is going to hopefully... There's no hoping about it, to be honest. Oop, we don't want to go through there. Um, it's going to lock us into the good ending, which is good. Oh, and I have fumbled. Get out of it, you filthy sewer-dwelling shit stain. Yes. Exactly. Now you can be flushed like the rest of the turds down here. Anyway... Let's start making haste out of here because we have quite a lot to get done in this episode. Now, good old Harry should remember the way, I hope. Hello. Come on, Harry. Actually hit the bastard. Yeah, these guys really don't take that much punishment at all, uh, which is curious. Considering we have quite a lot of equipment at our disposal. Now we want to follow this blue path. We've got some of these rad roach looking motherfuckers. Which are nothing more than a little annoyance. However, that one did just nibble our toes just a little bit. But for that, he paid with his life. So that's okay. Alright, so down here... We find ourselves another first aid kit because, you know, we were starting to run low on those, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, up the ladder. This is positive. This is very positive. We want to keep moving forwards. All right. So more sewers. Goody, goody gumdrops. And uh, I almost forgot about this. They give you yet another first aid kit just in case you know I'm not sure where Harry is putting all of these uh, first aid kits come on come on then if you want to do this let's do this there you go now I still don't quite understand the science of switching targets with Harry uh, I think a lot of it just comes down to the luck. There they are. I thought there was three of them here. Yeah, most of it comes down to luck, I'm afraid. Anywho, we want to be heading in this direction. I think there's more of those um, scratches back there, but you know what? Screw them. We have more... Pressing matters ahead. I think he just auto-aims at anything that's close. I think that might be how it works. Still, another health drink to throw on the pile. And some handgun rounds. Which is probably handy because we're burning through those at a pretty good rate. Evening. A little bit too much momentum there. Couldn't quite stop in time, but that's fine. So we need to head through that gate to get back to good old Silent Hill. However, that gate sadly is locked. So let's go. Let's take a good old jog all the way over here. And hopefully we can find ourselves a key. Because my key senses... Not going to lie, a tingling. Tingling right in the key sensors. Come on, Harry. Through the door. There you go. He's not brilliant at using doors, is Harry. But he gets there. Blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Well, I don't think it is. There's a sewer key in the water. Hmm. To be fair, 
a sewer would be the perfect place to find a sewer key. Unfortunately, this is a little bit awkward. Because we get ambushed by no less than four of these guys. And you know what? We don't need no uh we don't need no business with them. Or we don't want no ugly business with them, I should say. Uh probably should have killed those things, but it matters not. They're hardly worth the bullet. Now you heard that like weird sound effect there, that big bang. Um it doesn't actually mean anything. So we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep moving forwards. Always forwards. Never backwards. Sometimes backwards. But only when going backwards means we end up going forwards. You get it? Good. Anyway, that is it. That's the sewer section. I remembered in my... Um, old and obviously poor memory that section being significantly longer but hey what do I know so here's a rather interesting optional part of the game we are back in the resort area of Silent Hill when I say back I mean technically that's true we were here oh I don't know six seven eight years ago I think it was eight years ago actually so we are back in this um <sighs> very dark resort area now we don't have the map for that but there is a map right here thankfully now we can if we want just shoot off to the lighthouse down the pier however we're not going to do that because there is an optional side adventure that is pretty well hidden to be honest um but it is worth doing because that's how we get the very best ending. So, first of all, we're going to hit up Annie's Bar. Seems like a reasonable place to start. Let's go to the bar for a drink. Although, I don't think we're going to be having many drinks. Let's be fair. Where are we? Have we gone the right way? We've not gone the right way. We've gone the wrong way. Yep, we're going to be heading kind of this way. The perspective is a little bit strange. It does trip me up a little bit here. But it's fine. That's why we have a map. Uh, Harry is still going the wrong way, brother. That's more like it. At least I think that's like it. Yes, a hedge. A hedge is where we need to be heading. And in here... And we're going to run into an old friend. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. But I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. How about you? Zip. But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. A military rescue squad should be here any time now. If they come through the town, we're home free. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. Well, I mean... A girl called Alessa. Okay. No. He still got his briefcase with him. Curious. Well, it looks like in that scuffle... He dropped something. Now, if I could just find out where he dropped the something, it would be uh, halfway there. There we go. So, Kaufman is a peculiar character, but we're going to do some digging on him and see if we can't find out what's going on. So, Kaufman must have dropped this. 
Looks like it's full of stuff. Okay, so we've got a key for room number three, apparently, and a receipt with a code on it. That uh, receipt is for the Indian runner. Now, if you don't come in here and do that, obviously Mr. Kaufman dies, and then there will be a secret of Silent Hill left unsolved, and thus we won't be able to get the best ending. But we have set ourselves on the correct path. Now, um, I don't think there's anything else in here. We save Kaufman, we get two health drinks. Uh, and that's that. So now we're done. We can exit. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take a, a visit to the Indian runner armed with a code. I think we want to be heading this way. Sort of. I guess we can get there this way. So if we come down here, follow the left path around... In theory, we should come out somewhere. Wait a minute. We've just got ourselves... Well, that's sort of fine. Sort of fine. We're, we're kind of making progress in the sort of correct-ish direction. <clears throat> there we go. Right. Indian runner. Let's go. So, the Indian Runner is a convenience shop. Convenience store, I guess. So, the code we actually need is... 4... 7... 3. Because it was written on the receipt. And with that, we can get inside. Now, it's pretty good of those enemies, to be honest with you, to allow us to stand there and fiddle with the... Uh, chain and the lock can't go wrong with that now we can find ourselves some rifle shells there's some health drinks you know just in case you needed them and a diary august 20 he came by i handed over the package that the woman left here september 12th he showed up at norman's too i don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore but I'm getting creeped out even more than before. Thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid what will happen if I do. Hmm, who left that? Here we have a safe. It's locked. Curious. Well, looks like we've got another drawer here, so let's have a little rummage. There's a drawer. Do you want to open it? Sure. Ah, there's a safe key. Well, we have a safe key, and there is a safe. So, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I don't know why. <laughs> um, this is one of those keys that's not automatically used for reasons. Yeah, if we actually examine all this stuff. Um, receipt from General Store, thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. And if we look at it, we can just about squint and make out Indian runner. Okay, and we have a safe key. To the, uh, key to the safe. Uh-huh. Let's use it. What's this? Drugs? Well, I mean, I'll take your word for it, but remember what Sybil was saying earlier. There's some strange stuff going on um, involving drugs. Well, looks like we've kind of almost got to the bottom of it here. Now, a couple more things that we can do before we leave. We can search this, the motel, Norman's grand opening. Hmm, okay. We do have a key for a motel. At least it's got the number three on it, which I think it's safe to assume that means room three. Um, three loaves of bread, three cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Delivered to the back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code. Norman Young. Hmm, okay, so it looks like we now have a code for the Norman Motel. Well, it seems pertinent that we go over there and have a little poke around. Seems to be something rather nefarious going on in this town. You know, a little bit more nefarious 
And the motel was all the way down south. So we found drugs, and it looks like good old Dr. Kaufman seems to be mixed in with it all. Well, let's keep digging, keep pulling at this, this thread and see how deep this rabbit hole is. And you can piss off. Really? You know what? For that, beast, you die. Now, we've got the code to this gate. Uh, if I can bloody remember it, it was... I've got it written down here somewhere. 0886. There we go. Now, let's go have a look inside. Now, we do have the key, but we need something in here before we can sort that out. So we have a magnet. Okay. A magnet and a newspaper. <laughs> There's also a naked woman hanging up. Uh, I'm getting the, the feeling that this isn't exactly a high-class place. A poster on the wall. Don't look at that. Right, don't look at that now, though. Um, sure, yes. Yes, because we, we're such a choir boy. Um, now, if we... That's the door we came in. I believe this one is locked and jammed. Let's head on through. We've got another save room, which is nice. There is a guest register. Nothing special is written here. Well, there we go. That is the exit. The actual main exit, I should say. Now, I believe this is the door we want to head through. Yes. We can find ourselves a bike. A bike that looks like it's seen better days. Some shotgun shells. We'll have those. Yeah, we know, we know. We're not interested in that, Harry. We're interested in the bike. Hmm. An old motorcycle. Looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away. Just around the gas tank cap. Curious. I wonder... I wonder if... Just maybe there's something inside the gas tank. Well, looks like we're going to need a key to take the uh, cap off the gas tank. Well, let's go check out room number three, shall we? Apparently, this is where Kaufman was staying. I wonder if we can find some goodies in here. Just something. I mean, it's, you know, it looks like a rather simple, basic sort of uh, motel. But sometimes that's all you need. Anyway, we can push this out of the way. And there is a secret hidey hole, a secret stash. What do you think of that, Harry? There's a crack. Something glints inside. The crack is too small to reach in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, to be fair, you could probably break those floorboards looking at them. But whatever. Luckily, we found ourselves an interesting tool. A long, thin magnetic rod with a string attached in the motel office. Well, let's go and have a little dig in this hole, shall we? A motorcycle key? My, my. Now... We've just seen a motorcycle. Kaufman, you diabolical. What have you been hiding? Let's go have a look, shall we? Now, if we head back this way into the garage, let's see what this key will show us. Oops, we don't want the map. We want the motorcycle key. Let's have a look in the gas tank. Oh, a small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. Now that glass vial looks kind of similar, doesn't it? It looks like 
the glass vial that we found smashed in the hospital in Kaufman's office. Hmm, curious. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. I suppose technically it wasn't Kaufman's office. Give me that. What is this? That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? Someone hasn't had their coffee this morning. Man, he was pissed. And in such a rush, too. Oh, I guess I wasted my time. I better hurry. I'm worried about Cheryl. Yeah, so... I mean, we haven't actually wasted our time because we've locked ourselves onto the right path. Now, what's kind of curious about that whole exchange is... You know, I would have thought that Kaufman would have been a little bit more grateful towards Harry. We have saved his life previously. You know, not even that long ago. Um, and he also... You know, mentioning um, getting a killed, uh, you know, and goofing off and that sort of nonsense. However, it kind of meant or kind of felt like he was threatening us. Not necessarily, you know, um, talking about being killed by the monsters in the crazy environments. No, it sounded like he was threatening us. And I, for one, do not appreciate such things. But anyway... We have uncovered a little drug circle in good old Silent Hill. Very interesting. Anywho, let's get out of here. But if you don't do that little string of events, you, uh, you cannot get the best ending. And it looks like things are about to go crazy again. Not again. No, this time feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like a reality becoming a nightmare. Things are getting worse. I don't like this feeling. Like something bad will happen. What do you mean? No doubt something terrible is going on. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that's a fairly safe gamble, Harry. You're probably right. Oh, you little turd burger. I would absolutely say something rather terrible is going on. Hmm. There you are. So we've got a worm head. Looks like one of those flutter guys, but he is uh, a little bit more dangerous. Also, look at how the rain is gathering on the grating and then dripping off. That is really, really impressive for a PS1 game. Anyway, let's grab up these supplies. Now, I guess we better use one of our health kits. We've, we're only down to ooh, 34. We better go careful with 16 health kits. We're going to struggle, guys, I think. Right, anyway. Let's get out of here. Now, this, this place is absolutely packed to the gills of enemies. So, we are going to just run like hell. Pretend that hell is chasing us, which isn't that far from the truth, to be honest with you. All right, Harry. Pump those legs, mate. That's it. And I believe 
Wait, have we taken a wrong turn? Nope, we're good. We're gonna run down here. Just keep going. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they come. Alright, Harry. Some evasive action is needed. Down the stairs. Good lad. Keep running. Keep running. Nope. Into the boat. Oof. Oof. Got a little bit uh a little bit <laughs> a little bit tight there. Bit of an arse puckerage, I think. Sybil. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy. I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading, trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. What's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk, and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. She's a good egg, is Sybil. You will need 
to use it. Use what? The flower seed. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? I guess Gillespie doesn't really care about Sybil. Well, that's okay. Um, let's take a bit of a rest here in the boat whilst we can. So a lot of stuff has just been dumped on us. We've got some ammo. We've got some health. And we've got a save room. So I think it's a good idea to drop a save here. So we've tried to convince Sybil that we know what's going on and well I mean kind of we're sort of getting it but it looks like some kind of demonic god is being born well that's bad it also looks like Miss Gillespie knows a lot more than she's letting on hmm anyway I'm guessing more will be uncovered in the next episode guys so thank you very much for watching and as always Till next time.